Oh, I've got to sneeze. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <coughs> oh, get yourself together, man. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Alright, people, this is Pels, bringing you um, a solo strategy guide for the Zombies map, Kino de Toten. Uh, yeah. Based on feedback, people wanted to see strategy guides for the other maps, so I thought, hey, why not? It's all good. I've got the time to do it today. Like that. I don't know why that opens. Um, so I haven't uploaded anything for a little while because I've been busy with real life stuff. Um, my girlfriend came to stay for a week and I've just been busy with other stuff. So I haven't had a chance to really record anything. I uploaded some split screen which was pretty funny. But yeah, nothing, nothing major. But I got a bit of time today. So I thought I'd record this. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to give the basic tips that I give, I've given in my other strategy guide. But I'll give you some really basic ones. Six shots and a knife in the first round to maximise points. If the zombies hit you, back off immediately and just wait. I think I'd injured him. There you go, first round out of the way. So first thing I like to do is get the 74U just like on my Shangri-La strategy because it's a decent gun and you can get it quite easy as well you only have to open a couple of doors but I use up my pistol ammo first whoa try and get as many as I can yeah oh do, 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 do. I love the simplicity of this map. It's, it seems just, yeah, it's quite a simple map. It's quite easy if you have the right strategy, and the fact it has the thunder gun and no monkey rounds. Ooh, that's useful. Makes it makes it probably the easiest map in my opinion. Nothing wrong with that. It's easier to get tie rounds. My highest on this, unfortunately before I had a PVR, I got to round, I think it was 55, with no downs, like I didn't use any quick revives. And then I just killed myself because I was so bored. <laughs> um, so we can get to pretty high rounds with the strategy I use. So I come through the alleyway, because you actually get to the theatre quicker I think, and you can pick the 74U up. Which as I always say is a great gun good for points decent ammo it's just a good gun so obviously the first thing you want to do is get the power then get drug that's always what you need to do and I'm going through the alleyway as opposed to up there it's just personal preference really but I do think it's slightly cheaper to go that way but it's no big deal if you go the other way. Like I always say, make the strategy your own, change it up as you want. If, you, if I'm doing something you don't want to do, then just change it. You don't have to follow this. Loads of ways to get to high rounds. This is just one of them. Okay, pistol takes quite a few shots now. Do, 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 do. Insta kill, not bad. I will take that. Ah, so you got hit once. Wait until the red bit on your screen disappears, then going for the knife and the double points. Not bad. So now I've got quite a lot of points. I've been quite lucky here. At the end, not quite. That's the last one. Zombie, where are you? <sighs> ah. So how's everyone doing? The weather here has generally been terrible for the middle of July. 
but somehow I managed the one day we had a bit of sun I managed to get really badly sunburnt on my face which is not very nice for me but I'm quite pasty I burn easily don't know why I'm telling you this but hey All right, I'm gonna move through here towards the theatre because that's where the power switch is open this open this down here and now we can hit the power <laughs> I'm gonna hang around in here for a little bit and not open the curtain and hit the power because the uh, what are they called the cr you know the crueler zombies when you shoot them they explode they only start spawning when you hit the switch and I don't like them so I don't want them to spawn yet makes sense right? right so now I've run out of this I'm just going to go for headshots because I can't I don't really want to knife now it take too many take too long oops nice aim there bruh whoa where were you I swear there was one right next to me there hmm. three points why not so you can the bowie knife and jug are in the same place over here I'll just show you bowie knife and jug are both in this corner it's up to you whether you, you can go for the bowie knife first, it's a bit more expensive if you're confident that you won't down without Juggernaut that easily but this is supposed to be a strategy guide for anyone to follow so I'll, I'll get Jug first just to be safe so I can afford it now so we will grab that the Jug on round 4 is not bad, anyone should be able to get to there I hate being the Russian guy. Anyway, no offense to Russians. We're going to link the teleporter here for Pack a Punch. I'd always advise having it linked. So, um, it's a good place to escape if you're getting overrun. You can just duck in there. So, you link it to here. So, yeah, a lot of my tips throughout the maps are the same. Um, I'm not going to grab Speed Color just yet because I like to restart restart if I down before say round 10 just to have that extra quick revive later on because if you want to get a long term strategy where is this guy here? every little helps so yeah I'd advise not picking up quick revive at the start and just going till you can get past till you get drug and whatever you need to get set up and then by it it's just my opinion. Where is this zombie? Come on, I don't want this video to take all day. People got things to do. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> Where's the box? Okay, it's up there. We don't need the box yet. I never advise getting the box um, until late rounds because there's really no need. Waste of points. Why leave it to random chance? Ah, it's dogs. So I'm sure you all know, but at the end of every dog round you get a max ammo from the dogs, so you don't have to be too conservative with your ammo. You can spray them a bit. But do keep a full clip at the end, because when you get a max ammo it doesn't fill the last clip, because you have to reload. So yeah. Try and keep at least 20 bullets. There we go. Get some pistol ammo. So now we're just trying to get 3,000 points for the bow knife, which is a one hit knife um, up until round 10, which is awesome. Good for points, which is what we need. <laughs> So I haven't mentioned this, have I? I've recently, I think I'm on about 120 subs now, which is just amazing for me. 
getting them faster than I thought I would. And I really do appreciate all of you. Hello, if you're re well, everyone recently subscribed, but yeah, thanks for subscribing, everyone. It genuinely means a lot to me. Because yeah, started us from zero subs, and it feels good to get a bit of recognition. La la la, recognition. Damn it, I did not want that nuke. So yeah, thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching the vids. Hope they're useful. Wow, that took out the whole round, and we didn't get the Bowie knife. <laughs> oh well. Oh no, what's that? It's another nuke! May as well get the three points before they all spawn in. Now we can afford this. Yeah, it's just there on the wall. Now it's a one shot knife. One shot? One slice? Who knows? Get some points out of them with the pistol before I knife them. God, that was bad aim. <laughs> oh, going a bit cornered. Yeah. Always try and watch your back. Because that could have been embarrassing. What to talk about? What to talk about? Who knows? Thinking of uploading some classic zombies. Um, the trouble is, don't know. I don't know if people want to see it. Let me know, because um, I know most of you won't have the uh, the classic zombies map pack, which you got from buying either the hardened or prestige editions of of Black Ops and you can't buy it just like from the store or something which is pretty stupid in my opinion they should just release it because whenever I go on Xbox Live to try and get a game with some people there's only ever a few people online which is which is really um, really annoying they should just release it I don't know why they don't but anyway next thing we're gonna do buy some perks Open these two doors here. Ah, oh, I can't afford it yet. Silly me, that's 3,000. It's cool. You can carry on knifing for a bit. Still got two rounds of one hit knife. Is it annoying when I switch my gun all the time like this? I know it might be. I, I do it to just keep my fingers moving. Keep them warm and... Uh, I don't know. It's just a habit. And I always just randomly knife as well. That might be annoying. I'm just going to read a text. Uh, okay. I'll come back to you later. Hello. Hello. I haven't recorded myself playing for about three weeks now. Slightly out of the loop. But oh well. I've been playing some quite a bit of Minecraft actually. That game is fun and cheap. If you don't have it I suggest you buy it. I'm sure loads of you know about it. They're pretty big on YouTube. But yeah, I was creating a mob like a mob grinder to get automatic drops trying to do something a little bit my own design and it came out pretty well, it's not finished yet but it looks awesome made of glass all legit all everything's mined legit as well which is a good feeling anyway I'm just knifing because it's a one hit knife and I've got a knife I'm going to buy a slight hand now There's only four perk machines on this map, so there's no choices to be made. 
Just buy all of them. Simple. Yeah. Hello. And I'm going to quickly run and buy. Is this the last one? Nope. Yep. Run and buy. Uh, what's it called? Quick revive. Just for extra bit of security. And we don't need double tap yet. That's the fourth perk on this map. We don't really need that yet. 